Hi guys, and today is talk of, it's time to talk about our final leg game of the season before I get into the playoffs. Sunderland won, Northampton won. So first I'm going to run through the team. There was one change from last week's game on Plymouth. Charlie Wright came in for a steward who had a slight hamstring injury I think. So the team was Leigh Bird in goal, a back four, Conor McLaughlin, Bailey Wright, um, Luke Nye and Denver Hume. The two in mid, like two in front were Max Power and Josh Gowan with Diamond on the right. Gooch in the middle, Jones on the left, with um, Charlie Whiteley in the line. On the bench with Ryan Matthew, Chris McGuire, Ian O'Brien, Grant Ledbury, Colin Mathis and Carl Winchester and Eden McGeady returned to the squad. So yeah, so let's get started. So the first half really, we were terrible like we weren't creating anything or nothing, like it was like no tempo of the game, we didn't test the goalkeeper, and the only time their goalkeeper had to do with something when Linton Goat crossed the ball in what nearly found his way to try why where the keeper tipped it over. So yeah, in, and then the only other chance I can think of, I can rate Carl in the first half was right at the end where Linton Goat like backs into someone and um, lays it off to max power and power just fires wide so yeah I thought it was going into half time and I thought Jesus Christ this can't get any worse I know we're already confirmed in the playoffs but we can play better than this so yeah so we did actually make a change at half time Ian McGeady came on Jack Diamond came off and actually five minutes after half time we made another change where Chris Maguire came on for Con McLaughlin, Goats went to right back and Maguire played in the pocket. But before that, Goats acting in, he scored where White pales off his man and I think um, flicks it on or something. Then Goats pretty much shots and it's straight at the keeper. To be fair to him, it was really close to the keeper to the point where, to be honest, um, Goats couldn't do anything. So yeah, so it was boring where we were like trying to like. Um, but Cross, I think, do stuff like, but it just wouldn't come off if you get from me. And I thought, personally, it was like going going into a like nil nil draw if you get that one me. But we did make more changes. Carl Winchester and Grant Ledbury and Ian O'Brien came on. Um, Charlie White, Max Power, and Josh Scorn went off. So, yeah. So, in the 80, um, third or fourth minute they took the lead where it was a free kick um, and their man takes it deflect off Grant Ledbit and Ron Foot's labours and goes into the back winger. So yeah we did have a chance where John John like ran drive through the middle played up I got what one with two of O'Brien and John so went off the bar but we did get a goal in the 80 and um, seventh minute I think where um, Jordan Jones crossed it and it pretty much like like I think he was trying to cross it but he got a wrong end to like ends up going off the post it then went off the other post then Carl Winchester was there to pretty much mop it up and make it 1-1 one, one. and that's how the game ended to be fair it was probably the fair result for I um, mean we didn't do enough to win the game and that is actually a bit worrying going into the playoffs knowing that team relegated and we couldn't beat them so yeah so that means that Sunderland has finished fourth in Skybet League One and will play at Lincoln City in the playoffs. The playoffs dates are are um um Saturday um Tuesday Wednesday the nineteenth for me me sorry, Lincoln face Sunderland away at six PM um on on Saturday the twenty second of May we'll play a Lincoln at home at um 3pm so yeah that's going to be interesting and nerve wracking I'm absolutely dreading them if you're wondering the other game in the playoffs is Blackpool versus Oxford United obviously Portland missed out to deal with I was going to say I'm gutted for them but I'm not really so yeah but it was a boring game and it was a bit worrying but I believe that that if we get get it right in the playoffs we still might get away as as it stands, we're only three games away from the championship. So yeah, so before I end the video, I'm really going to just go through um like how I sent the players did. Labors didn't really have a save to me other than the time where he like where the ball went in, he couldn't really like do anything if you get what I mean. It wasn't his fault that the goal went in, so yeah. McLaughlin 
didn't really put foot wrong. So, I mean, at times it's a bit suspect that you probably was lucky to not get a yellow card and to give two, like, one too many fouls away, if you like. So, yeah, Bailey Wright looked off the pace, like, and everything. So, yes. Local nine, I guess, weren't bad. Didn't really put foot wrong to get a stupid jail card. So, yeah. Um, to be fair, Hume was actually good. To be honest, where he was the only player that was trying to be positive and what and whatever, like trying to drive through. Like at times, we might have put put a bad crossing on whatever, but still. So yeah, scoring and Lebbe just got outplayed. I mean, scoring and Power just got outplayed. So yeah, and um, Diamond did okay first half. I mean, so yeah, go so I mean, first half he did put one. Um, or two good crosses in to be fair to him and as well that uh, he could have scored and then when he went to right back to be he didn't really put a foot wrong so yeah um jones was terrible in the first half really like second he was bad obviously like probably should have scored technically got the assist if you mean for the goal where but yeah um why he weren't really in the game i don't even think he had a, had a chance on goal so yeah on the bench McGee came on was dreadful to be honest. He didn't really look fit. Hopefully that he can't get fit before the player. But Gwai didn't really do much either. And to be fair, other than Winchester that came on and scored, um, Led Bear played their part in the goal. And O'Brien might have had the one. Now he might have one or two good moments. But apart from that, no really. So yeah. So that's the end of the video. Just to let you know, um, before the playoff start, I'll be reacting to my. Championship and League One predictions like sometime this week I think I might do Championship tomorrow um League One on Thursday or Friday so yeah so it's really going to be a like tense time really so yeah so, so that's the end of the video leave your thoughts on the game if you want to like subscribe view comment and see yeah.